Let's take another look at our test of significance when we found the population mean mu when we had a known population standard deviation. We already did this problem previously, and when we did it previously, we did the entire problem when we calculated the p-value using our standard normal table. When we go through the problem this time, we will use the calculator to find our test statistic and the p-value. Everything else in the problem stays the same. Let's just read the problem to refresh our memory. According to the United States Census Bureau's American Community Survey, the national average commute time to work is 24.3 minutes. The CEO of a large company believes that the average commute time for her employees is greater than the national average. Suppose it is known that the standard deviation of commute times for all of the company's employees is 5.5 minutes. The CEO determines that the mean commute time from a simple random sample of 40 of her employees is 25.6 minutes. Use a test of significance to test the CEO's claim at the .05 significance level. We're not going to go through a lot of detail because it was already previously done. But the mean mu that we are testing our claim about is the mean commute time for all company employees. We want to do the one sample z test. The conditions of simple random sample and x bar being normally distributed were already tested and verified in the previous problem. Our null hypothesis is that the mean commute time for all company employees is 24.3 minutes versus the alternative that the commute time is greater than 24.3 minutes. We saw previously and we know that our z test statistic is given by x bar minus mu naught divided by the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Put in those values and then we are going to let the calculator calculate the value for us. We are going to let the calculator draw the sampling distribution of x of our sample z test statistic and we will let the calculator calculate the p-value. Even if you use the calculator you must draw your own sampling distribution and shade the p-value. Let's do it on the calculator. We want to go to stat and over to tests. We want to do a one sample z test which is number one. That brings up the z test screen. We do not have the data, so we will just input our sample statistics. We are testing the claim that the mean equals 24.3 minutes. The population standard deviation is 5.5 minutes. The sample mean is 25.6 minutes. The sample size is 40. And we are testing the alternative that the mean commute time is greater than mu naught. Now let's go down to draw so we wanted to draw the sampling distribution for us and hit enter. It's sketching the sampling distribution and it's shading the p-value for us. This point right here is your z test statistic of 1.49. So the calculator has calculated our z test statistic 1.49 and it gives us our p-value of 0.07 so we can fill those, fill those values in. Our test statistic was 1.49 and our p-value was 0 0.07 and we are ready to complete the problem using our English statement. Our English statement reads, because the p-value equals 0 0.07 which is greater than 0 0.05 which is alpha we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the mean commute time of all company employees is 24.3 minutes. So you can see the calculator through the one sample z test can help us calculate the z test statistic and the p-value and it will also draw the sampling distribution for your test statistic.